So welcome to the tour of our ditch kits. This is gonna be exciting, it's gonna be fun. Quite frankly, it's not. It's just gonna be a whole bunch of stuff that we have inside these bags, we, which I think is gonna save our life one day. We hope you guys find it useful. Since we've been on Friendship, safety has been our biggest priority. Okay, so we're doing a man overboard drill. And as we were planning a three week crossing of the Atlantic Ocean, our ditch kit became a massive focus and expense. We kind of messed up that man overboard. Okay, let's, let's do it again. We recorded an itemization of our ditch kit before we left for Atlantic Crossing, with the intention of having this go live while we were underway, and to prove to our parents that we would be fine if things went seriously wrong. So right now we are rigging up our storm jib, which is a sail that we would use. Hopefully we never have to use it. But unfortunately, our crossing preparations took control and the video had to wait. Climb up like a monkey, Will. I'm trying to. Well, we did make landfall and we did not have to use our ditch kit. So we thought now is the perfect time to share what is in the ditch kit for a family of four and crew. What do you think, Sandra? <laughs> You're just as tired, huh? Don't worry, we'll be back to our Atlantic Crossing episodes on this Friday's vlog. Thank you so much to our patrons whose support make these episodes possible. Welcome to what is going to be the best vlog we have ever produced. It's going to go viral. It's going to be magnificent. You're going to, this is going to be done and you're going to say, give me more. You're going to say, she's full of garbage. <laughs> this is not going to go viral. This is not going to be the best thing we've ever made. But it is going to be full of information. We're going to talk about a ditch kit. So what is a ditch kit? Some of you are going, is it something you throw overboard? What do you do with this? A ditch kit is the bag that you have or bags that you hope you will never need. But if you do need it, you are very glad you have it. Right? But the idea of using it is almost like, like earth shattering because things are going tragically wrong. I right. mean, the idea of, of when we actually have to use it is something that keeps me up at night. And Hopefully that, that's a really never, bad thing. We're going to never have to use it. But once in it is survival stuff. So food rations, water, um, medical stuff, um, stuff to fish, all the kind of things that you would need in the event you were st stuck at sea in the life raft for say several weeks or someone rescued you. Envision, and this does happen. Envision Tom Hanks in Castaway. And, yes. and you have to live on your own. <laughs> Like, and you're yelling at Wilson saying, what happened? Give me my food ration. Oh, no, Spoiler I just, alert, we don't have a volleyball on, no. on, our, on our bag. We do have a deck of cards. Yes. Um, I just finished reading a book where the boat sank in 60 seconds and they had to get their ditch kit and get in their life raft. And they actually survived because they had a very, it, it appeared to be a very comprehensive ditch kit. So now you know what a ditch kit is. Now you know why you need it in the event that the boat's going to sink and you need to get off and get on your life raft or your dinghy. Did our boat come with a ditch kit? Our boat did not come with a ditch kit. Our boat did uh, not. Tell us why. <laughs> <laughs> We're trying to make this a little interesting, guys. When we when we bought our boat, we bought it from um, a, a, a a series of individuals who've owned it historically, who have never really gone too far offshore. Right. So you and, don't need it, right? You can call for help. You, most of the time, you can call for help on your cell phone. Right. And and the idea of a ditch kit is is if you feel like you're going to be away for hours on end and you're not going to have any sign of being rescued then seriously you need to have equipment and fluids food that's going to keep you alive until rescue does come and in the event you know it takes several weeks for rescue to come you don't want to be out in the life raft or the dinghy with just your cell phone that doesn't work so you it's really important to be prepared so, so the boat didn't have it we made one we made a really big one, just like our really big, big medical kit. medical kit, <laughs> and our really big provisioning. Right. We got, we got. You know what? We're Americans. We are just. You know, as much as you take us out of the U.S., and we've been out of the U.S. since 2014, we're kind of super size me with certain things in our life. That's a truth. Medical thing. safety, food. All right. So let's go ahead and show them what we have now and, and our ditch kit. Our ditch kit. Okay. Who can guess where our ditch kit is? Spoiler alert. It's right under here. The idea is that your ditch kit should be someplace easily accessible. We would probably have ours out in the cockpit or in a back locker, but we don't have a lot of space for that. So this seems like the most logical spot. Underneath a bed would not work if the halls are filling up in water. And Will and I think that in about, it should, you know, we're gonna show you how we get in and out and get this out. Will's gonna probably do it very calm, but in the event something was happening, I think in under 30 seconds, we can pull all these seats apart and get the ditch kit bags off the boat. So. Here it goes. And the way that we get to our ditch kit is, it's a bit of a shuffle. So we have storage underneath our settee all around. 
and we've chosen this spot over here as our keeper of the ditch kit and I can tell you that if we have 30 seconds and we're going down I'll we're, have we're to, throwing things we're not this being thing careful. will be torn apart and that those ditch kits will be out of there right so here they are they reside in here let's pull them out one, one. two, two. We gotta do a little more reorganizing. Yeah. They're bursting at the seams. And this one's the heavy one. This one's the water. This one's all can pack is water. Three. Mm -hmm. That's it. Oh. And of course we wouldn't put it back together. No. <laughs> we would be running for the life raft right now. But since we have to shoot this video. Right. And <laughs> The puzzle doesn't always work well, <laughs> if you can notice. Okay, yep. That whole yep. thing took 45 minutes. <laughs> <laughs> We've now officially sunk. It's harder to put them back in than to take them out. So at least the good part is that they're easily accessible. And then if something happens with the boat, then we'll let someone else judge whether the cushions were putting them right or not. So welcome to the tour of our ditch kits. This is going to be exciting. It's going to be fun. Quite frankly, it's not. It's just going to be a whole bunch of stuff that we have inside these bags, we, which I think is going to save our life one day. We hope you guys find it useful. Um, if there's any experienced sailors out there and think that we have something that's ridiculous in this bag, we would love your thoughts on it because they are two pretty heavy bags. And then the third one is water. Um, let's start off with water. So we bought water rations and I'm going to look at my little spreadsheet over here. Um, we would like to get a hand pumped water maker or a something, solar still. or a solar still, but right now it's just too expensive for the budget. That would cut down. We have one entire bag that's water, and then we're gonna have another um, 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 five gallon or whatever thing. Five gallon jerry can of water. Jerry can of well. water hooked by the life raft so we can just grab that and put that in. But this right. is what we got for water. So the idea is that we would use, first of all, our five gallon jerry can of water, and then once that becomes no more, if we ever last, if we're still in the life raft that long, um, then we use these. We have about 50 of these and these are all about a liter of water and with, They're daily rations, with right? With the combination so. of the jerry can and this, there should be enough water to last several weeks. And, I read, well. and everything on, on here is based on four people on the life raft. So if we have an additional person, we either have to add, I mean, to be honest, we have backups of, uh, like a little bit extra of everything. But this is great because there's no I read a couple of things that when people have been in a life raft, you know, you kind of get distorted and you get dehydrated and whatnot. And, and sometimes people can fight or get upset with other people because they think someone is getting more water. So this is really great to kind of have it rationed out and also for the person to judge how much they have drank in the water. Right. The and, and in the idea that we're, it will take several weeks for us to get rescued. Um, normally most people are rescued within, within a, a couple 20, of weeks. 24, what? What? No. no. Most people are rescued on a life raft within 24 in hours. In the middle of the ocean? In the middle of the ocean might take a little longer, but if you're not okay, in the middle okay. of the ocean, middle generally of the ocean takes it's longer. within 24 hours if something happens and you're between mainland. I have lands. read all the books. It takes sometimes it takes years. Okay, well. okay. If you're years on a, to if get rescued. If you're on a crossing, years it well. may take longer. I, I'm not. I'm not even thinking that far. Okay. All right. Number two, baseball hats um, to protect you against the sun. You want to pull from your bag and I'll pull from my bag, like Christmas or something. Well, these are two different topics. One, mine, mine relates more towards hydration and towards your bag nourishment. Is, oh, it is. Okay, yeah. so want to do mine first? Yeah, do yours first. Okay, a bundle of flare, a bundle of flares. You're going to need this when you're out. These are become be going to become very, very important to you. We have actually more than we need, and then on our list of things that we grab, because when I'll discuss that later, we each grab something as we're leaving, and we'll grab our additional flares because you don't want to be out at sea and see another ship and you can't get any of them to recognize you because they're this big and you're that big. And then in addition to these flares that we have on board, the actual life raft comes with it, additional flares. So yeah. we have at that we point, have a lot of flares. we have a lot of flares. All right, reflective tape. This is because when we want to have a dance party in the middle of the night, yep. we can go ahead and have reflective tape. No, this is basically to put on top. At this point, if you're on top of the life raft and there isn't enough reflective tape on the life raft, but you want to add more just in case, uh, here you go. We have rescue blankets. We have some of these disposable um, little throwaway ones, which are nice because they're nice if something goes wrong and we have extra crew members on board. We also have some other ones, and this is where we're going to jump into our bag over here, um, that are, hold on, hold on. They have bigger ones and they're nicer. And they're at the bottom, which is where they should not be. So we're going to go ahead and 
reorganize this entire thing. Oh boy. We have these, uh, and they are the same thing. They are rescue blankets, they are thermal protection suits, and these will keep you warm in case you get wet. They we will keep you protected, those. and they're four. So, four of Wait. us are good. Crew, well, you just may You're have You're in trouble. Yeah. Binoculars. Um, these are, are these more These are, these more are flares. more flares. Well, these, these are, are the smoke signal flares. Smoke signal flares. We're really, we're really prepared. Oh, you wanna talk about those? These are food. These are, well, we have food here, we have food there, but these are essentially pause emergency on the, rations. Do you wanna pause on the food then until we do all the food or no? Um, sure. Okay. Masking tape. You never know. Horn. A little horn, check this out. This is actually really Compass. cute. Compass. <laughs> it's really loud too. Um, water bucket. There's a water bucket. And here we have a lot more of the signaling stuff. This Flashlight. More rescue blankets. We have little cool glow sticks, signaling mirror, so forth and so on. Um, a, a whistle. It works. What else do we have? A knife. We have matches. We also have a lighter in here. We also have this. This is a, um, a, a fire starter. So we might not need this because this has two lighters, some tape, a knife, and some... Um, what are those called? Snap hooks. Snap hooks. We, we can, probably we, don't need all of that. We, we might downsize a bit. You never know. Um, if things go wrong, you'll be happy for everything you have. I will. If we can get it off the boat. There we go. Okay, this is a... Check this out. This is actually really interesting. You never know. You never, you never knew that you needed a radar reflector on a life raft. And they quite, don't want to get hit. And quite frankly, honestly, most life rafts should have a radar reflector on them. Ours might come with them. I have to look at the it list. Doesn't. It doesn't? No, okay. no. What this is, is it's a big inflatable ball. And inside that ball, there are what are silver plated, not silver plated, but silver painted um, panels. And then those panels are meant to go ahead and reflect any type of radar transmission. So that if you are around a high traffic area or around a low traffic area or any traffic area, and if someone has the radar on, um, if they can't see you from your EPIRB, which we're going to have as well, we'll talk about in just a second, they may, they may be able to ping you with your, with your radar reflector. This is actually super expensive, surprisingly yeah, enough. that thing was expensive. $150. Um, flashlights, a bundle of stuff. Is this for fishing? No, this is extra line, bungee cords. Um, and a couple a floating other floating lines, so forth and so on. Any way to throw a line to someone for a lifeline, we have it here. Cutting board. For the catch fish. Catch fish. And wow, this is really there's a lot in here. Suntan lotions and wipies, because you're gonna need that if you're at sea for a while. <laughs> and then Or if we just land on a beach. Way down here. Uh, cards, because you gotta pass the time. Um, I don't know what that is. Um, this we probably don't need anymore. We might need it. This is just a measuring cup, which helps monitor how much water everyone's drinking each day. And, and if that's in the event that we weren't using these or these were gone, or we're using the five gallon to just make sure we're giving everyone the bare minimum amount of water, but enough to survive each day so that, um, so that we don't everyone, die. Everyone has the same amount. Yeah, so we're we're cognizant that people can get a little irrational. Um, stuff for allergies, insect bites, uh, antibiotics, diarrhea, constipation, all kinds of goodies in this bag. And that is it for my bag. For your bag. What's okay. up with your bag? My bag has the extra medical kit. All right. Our extra medical kit is essentially the kit that came with the boat when we bought the boat. Um, we said that this, this, this medical kit should not go for not and it can be utilized and in this case our medical kit is now this for the life raft the medical kit the, the life raft also comes with it a first aid kit in itself which is very sort of bare bones and limited yeah. so we decided why not go further on and which we have now so we have stuff like um vitamin c um chapstick stuff for headaches Stuff for seasickness, um, bandages, uh, steri, st st steri strips, um, quick bond. We have a CPR mask, uh, some some sanitary gloves, and pretty much pretty much that's about it from right. the medical standpoint. And then inside here, it's all about wound care. So yeah. bandages, tape, uh, gauze. It's a basic, you know, first aid kit. You don't think um, we won't go through all of that, guys? Because right. that's not too exciting here. And then once again. 
when you're under a little bit of panic, you know you won't always know what to do. So we also have in here a first aid book that we got from the ROA. So the idea is keep your cool, keep calm. But if not, there's a how-to book on how to make it happen. And All right, now, uh, now moving forward. Food. Um, food. Well, we got a fishing kit. Yes. <laughs> we got if one of the, one of the biggest controversies for a life raft and this is one of the things that we don't know whether we're going to use or not and this may be a, an item of last resort um is because you're throwing you're you're in a plastic device right, right. if you go ahead and you throw a life a, a fishing hook over and you may get sort of your life raft stuck by a fishing hook that's, and i think it's not a good thing it's important to think that at this point you might have a bit you might be a bit traumatized you might be tired malnourished dehydrated so you know we would all think that oh i can fish and make sure i don't hook you know the, the life raft but you just don't know so we have our rations we'll start with our rations in the event we're stuck on the life raft longer than planned then we will have to take to um fishing right. and i i saw i mean I, I one of the books i read they, they caught turtle um and that's pretty much what they survived on so you know there's options out there it can be done but one what of else? the things you have to know about us is that especially we don't like turtle. particularly jessica no is that she likes to provision and so the way we provision for just about anything in life is, is over and above more than anything that's necessary. Yeah. So we also we also have on here a ton of food. Yeah. Uh, it's all, I'm not gonna say it's gourmet, but no. it, it definitely is life raft gourmet. We have more peanuts than you know what to do with. I, so it was one of the recommendations of stuff that I read online that peanuts and peanut butter. So we have peanut butter as well. But um, right. But what? okay. I don't, I don't know. Not a good recommendation, but that's okay. you, you know I mean think at that point you know. I think of being at a bar and you have peanuts that makes you <laughs> makes you thirsty and you want to drink more. Well, that's a good point. Maybe that wasn't a good recommendation. We what don't do you guys know. think? Um, we're open to making modifications to our ditch kit. So what <laughs> else do we have over there? We have peanut butter, like you said. We have one, two, three, four, four, four peanut butters. We have tuna. We have a bunch of tuna. Now, this was highly recommended to take in a ditch kit. But I have to tell you, if you've watched our vlogs before, particularly on the Camino, Will like cannot stand tuna. But he has agreed to eat tuna if it, came down, if it came down to life or death. Right. He said he would prefer caviar or sushi, but I he will... I prefer cheese, <laughs> but you know, you don't necessarily get that choice when you're on a life raft. Bunch of energy bars, cliff bars, granola bars, all that kind of stuff. We have a gazillion cliff bars. We yeah. have about... 30 cliff bars and between that and the energy bars and the tuna and the, the peanut butter and, and the, the peanuts. skippy and the peanuts and then we've got also and then if, if really things really go wrong and you really get hungry and you're really out of food and you have to go ahead we and got just, astronaut food we have what's called sos food lab emergency food rations uh these things contain each bag contains six rations each one is supposed to be one per day per person so and each each little bar in here contains 3500 calories enough to survive a full day yes so this right here for it's family not gourmet, of four but might last us at that point a day a day and a half yeah. and then of these we have six of a these. lot of them so once again we have like seven days of emergency food rations we have all this here we have the fishing kit i think we're gonna be okay i think we're gonna be quite all right now in addition glucose tablets glucose tablets in addition i think that's everything in your bag in addition to all of this um, and I'm gonna put my glasses on for a minute and go to my spreadsheet because of course I have a spreadsheet for this And also it's recommended that you update this once a year Go through and see if things are expired and see what you need to add or maybe things you don't think you need anymore in addition to this before each big sale so before we do our atlantic crossing we'll make a special pouch of stuff that's normally not in the ditch kit that's elsewhere on the boat that we'll put in the ditch kit in the event something happens and in that will be uh, passports our handheld vhf money bank cards a mobile phone maybe some paper and pen we'll bring with us our iridium go we'll bring that um, the last second we'll also iPhone get cord iphone cord some batteries extra battery pack fully charged this thing holds 3,500 milliamps sorry 35,000 milliamps so this is good for several charges on an iPad or a phone and we're also going to carry with us hopefully our ditch I mean our EPIRB if yeah. we, if, as long as we carry that but we're also going to have here a portable EPIRB so this is the same thing as a larger scale EPIRB except for the battery smaller um, but this thing will be able to be more compact and we can take it with us and it will then direct rescue to wherever we are on the planet so as you can see when we came on this boat, if you saw the first couple of vlogs, we were like, look at all the space. 
we really haven't purchased too much for ourselves, but what we've come to realize there's certain things on the boat, like the enormous medical kit, like the ditch kit, that you'll only, if you ever use it, you'll only use a small portion of it, but it's stuff that you need on the boat for you're, sure. You're ignoring the fact that we have presents well, behind yeah, us. Gift and, presents and a, Those are all edible, guys. Every bit of that. Every bit that is yes. a big piece of cheese. <laughs> all right, so. I'm just gonna rattle off quickly what's in our, this is probably a weird angle, but what's in our life raft. I have a list here. Again, I have this all in Excel. Um, Will and I have worked on this together, but I've kind of been the one managing it and kind of following up. We've been gathering stuff here and there for, for months for this. Um, in the life raft, there's a signal mirror, a whistle, a signal lamp, a dry cell and bulb, repair kit, baler, sponge, mini, mini quicker. I don't know what that is. Um, manual, scissors, waterproof bag, floating knife, rescue line, sea anchor, paddle, red hand flares, parachute flare, sickness bag. And this is where we store our life raft right here. This is a six person life raft, which means it's normally rated for like one and a half percent of its maximum occupancy, which means technically we can fit nine people on here. I don't know whether we're actually gonna wanna put nine people on here, but it I can has... tell you I'm not crossing the Atlantic with nine people. <laughs> <They're good. laughs> we can we can try that, but the idea is that there's two different styles though. There's they're all ISO 9650 rated, which means that they're they're highly rated and they're meant for either coastal cruising or offshore. Then there's a type one and type two. Type two is for coastal cruising, which means that they're not meant for a large wave gust, not, not, not a lot of wave height. Type one, which is what we have, are meant for offshore sailing. They're meant for higher winds, they're meant for larger waves, and then they're meant to withstand the pressure on here. Um, there's also an additional characteristic, which is either type A or type B. Uh, it all depends on what temperature it, the plastic can withstand. The, the, the type A goes to all the way down to minus 15 degrees centigrade and the type B goes down to zero degree, degree centigrade. In our opinion, if we're actually sailing in below freezing temperatures, we're not sailing. So we chose for the type B, which goes down to zero only. And it look, if you look inside, they're all, it's tiny, right? But this thing can hold that many people. It's, it's connected by a rope all the way uh, over here, which is connected to the boat. And when you unleash it, basically we would cut these and it would fall into the water and then the CO2 cartridge would automatically eject and then the life raft would, would inflate by itself. And, you, and it's still attached home. to the boat. And it's still attached to the boat because it's still attached by the tether here, by the lifeline here, which is what tells it to go ahead and, and move out. So um, if the boat's going down, you want to make sure you have your knife nearby and you want to cut that off. Right, because once this once is Once you're pulled, in it, once you're in it. Right, once it's out there, it's in the water, it's pulled to a certain length, that's what triggers the CO2 cartridge, which inflates the life raft. So this is where it stands, and it's good for five years before it has to be reserviced. And we've got ours now for a year now, so we still have about four more years till we have to reservice it. All right, the ditch kit. The ditch kit is, you know, all this, but it also is everything else that goes along with if you are actually sinking and you need to get into the life raft. So before our crossing, we're going to identify these different areas of who gets what in the event that we have to do something quickly. So one person will be in charge of the three bags, um, probably someone that, that's pretty strong that can carry all three bags. Someone will be in charge of getting the life raft done and open. Someone will be in charge of getting that big five gallon water bucket on the life raft. It'll probably be the same person as the life raft. Um, Will wants to add that he would like someone to grab the hard drives if there is extra space. And also on this list, probably at the top of the list, is the cat. And what we've decided for the cat is the cat is actually, her travel bag is actually going to go in with the ditch kit. So when we pull up the ditch kit, we can put her in her travel bag because the last thing you want is a cat with claws on, on a boat. So she will stay in, we will take her, but she will stay in her travel bag in the life raft so that she, there's no um, opportunity for her, her to dig or scratch or anything like that. And I, you know, a cat surrounded on a small life raft surrounded by water is probably going to make her a little. And if you're asking, have you, have you brought cat food on board? Tuna. Sure. Tuna's our cat food. Tuna. So how much did this cost us? In general, uh, a life raft in itself will run you, depending on the size and whether you go offshore or coastal, uh, it will run you between $1,000 and $1,400, around there. 
Uh, ours was right in that little middle sweet spot. Um, it's $1,200 that we, that we spent for our life raft. And then for all this gear that you see in front of you, it's another about $1,400. Yeah. But in the event you need it, you're really going to want it and wish you would have spent the money. So. Right. And then in addition, all these things do need to be replaced every now and then. Um, things do have a shelf life. Yep. Uh, the, the water actually has a shelf life, if you believe that. Well, oh, why not? Because it's inside a container. I five guess, years. Yeah. Okay. Um, it's five year water. What, do the rations have a shelf life? Look, there's an expiration on the those. The rations have a five year shelf life as well. It is says, it? yes. So apparently five that says years 21. is 21. Like, where does it say 21? Look at that. Three, That's when it was made. Oh, three. I can't see what that says there. 20, it's 26. Yeah. All right, we should test these out. Should we test these out right now? We should now? not be testing these out. Because I'm sure it tastes like garbage. And oh, then you've wasted six of them. You don't think it tastes like that astronaut ice cream? I don't think it's that. <laughs> I think it's just a big hunk of like brown thing. All right, so it's I It's probably think... like a Cliff Bar, to be honest with you. Probably. I think that about... You don't like Cliff Bars that much. Not really. No. Well, I don't think we're going to be picky out there. Um, I'm going to say it again. I think, <laughs> I think that pretty much does it for our ditch kit. Um, if you've stuck around this long, thank you so much. Thank you. We hope you learned something. And, if, and go ahead. Oh, and <laughs> <laughs> if you think there's things that we've missed in our ditch kit or things that really aren't unnecessary, please let us know. This is, we did a lot of research. We watched, um, other vlogs. We, um, got spreadsheets from people and we did a, a ton of research, but that doesn't mean we did put too much or not enough. Or we forgot something really crucial. Um, those of you who are old salty sailors, please let us know. Um, give us some feedback because it does seem like a lot, the ditch kit. Um, but there are four of us on here. So I don't think it's, I mean, I, I, did, I didn't think we were going to come out with a ditch kit, you know, bag this big with four of us, especially two teenagers. So right. if so, they don't get fed, they might decide they want to eat one of us at sea. Can you take, can you take um, Starlink with us on board? We don't have Starlink. I like, we, we don't have it yet. Listen, if Elon Musk, if you have Starlink ready for, <laughs> a, for, for, for a life raft, that would be amazing. <sighs> All right. With that All being right, said, Thank we you, go. guys. Subscribe. Give us your thoughts. And give um, us good vibes while we cross the Atlantic. Yeah, we're, we're thinking of you right now as we're crossing the Atlantic. Um. Okay, bye. Welcome to our exciting, thrilling the best vlog ever of what's in our ditch kit on friendship it's the only vlog about what's in our ditch kit <laughs> and it probably will be our only one going forward i don't need my glasses for this i'm not reading anything welcome to the best vlog you are ever gonna see from jessica and will how's that for an the intro? best vlog ever that's that's a bold statement when we're talking <laughs> about a ditch kit people. <laughs> Welcome to our first and probably only ditch kit vlog that's going to go viral. It's going to be so exciting and thrilling. So let's start with this. Let's start yeah, there. Let's start there. What? Okay, what were you doing? I thought we started really good last time. That light just went on. Yeah, I think it might be all right. Okay. So, so welcome to our ditch kits. It, it, sounds, it sounds almost Hold like Hold on. A... Did I put my glasses back on? Yes. Yeah. What? So there's quite, there's quite a few things in there as well. Um, when in the event... Do you have something you want to say? Can no, I just I'm, I'm just, I'm a little bit overwhelmed at this point. Please. You're just going to be sending good vibes out to the world. We don't have to use this. We don't have to use this. Because if Will has to eat tuna for a couple weeks, he's going to kill someone. <laughs> All right.